Hey, this is Colton and Wide Open Wolf back, and we're here to talk about the danger of a low head dam. And if you see one of these buoys right here, you should go immediately to, to the side and pick up your kayak or canoe and walk it around the low head dam. The Z Dam got its name because it's shaped like the letter Z. The current dam was built in 1932. The purpose of the Z Dam is to redirect water to the water treatment facility for the city of Richmond. Local dams are super dangerous because they go all the way across the river and went and creating a pool of, of water behind it. And when the water goes over, it creates a hydraulic and people can drown. My dad and I, we created a low head dam using two hoses, a, pl a plastic bin, duct tape, a, and a piece of wood. I got my Lego man and my boat. We're going to test it out. As water flows over the dam, it picks up speed. The fast-moving water plunges to the bottom of the dam, pushing water from the bottom to the top. The water fills the space, creating by flowing back towards the dam, this creates a hydraulic boil. The boil point is a point where some water flows downstream and some water flows back to the dam. To escape the hydraulic, you must be able to get past the boil point and swim downstream. As you can see, once the Lego man goes over the dam, he's trapped in the hydraulic. Also notice the air bubbles. Those bubbles make the water less dense and harder for a person to float. I'm only about a hundred yards away and I can't see it and if I go too far I'm it might be too late and I will go over the edge and get stuck in the hydraulic. The Z Dam has a portage trail that makes it easy to safely go around the dam. The trail is marked with a bright yellow sign. right behind me and it doesn't look dangerous because it's super short but it is very very dangerous so when you see those signs get this short
Do not go over the dam.